We go to a soggy High Point High School, and Pope John draws first blood here as Cody Kiss tracks down the ball before it goes out and unleashes his blast from 35 yards out over the outstretched arms of High Point keeper Tyler Christensen into the corner of the net, and the Lions take a quick 1-0 lead. Okay, Pope John looks to add to his lead here as Cody Kiss floats one into the box, but Tyler Christensen of High Point makes the save on Eric Lagg's header to keep it 1-0 Pope John. Pope John does make it 2-0 here off the quick restart as Adam Golombieski pops in the header for the Lions and it's 2-0 Pope John. High Point did play some solid defense in the box as the Cats stop Eric Lagg here before Kyle Schmitz clears the box to keep it a two-goal game. All right, Pope John keeps the pressure on here as Sal Begay heads it forward to Lagg who fires it in, but Tyler Christensen is there for the save for High Point. Okay, Pope John is awarded a corner kick here, and Rob McKinley sends it in as Lag heads it to Salvage, who pushes it home, and Pope John has a commanding 3 0 lead at the half. Second half we go, and Pope John's passing was terrific. Watch Casey Ferriola find a wide open Salvage in the box, and he goes to the far post with this blast, and Pope John takes a 4 0 lead over High Point. Eric Lag looks to add to the lead here as he splits the defenders with this nice move, but his shot goes wide. Tyler Christensen of High Point keeps it 4 0 for the moment as he snags this Cody Kids blast with a nice diving save for the Wildcats. And Pope John scores its final goal here as Casey Ferriola chases down the loose ball and scores as Pope John tops High Point 5 0 in this American Division clash as Joel Kanye gets the post game reaction. It was a good win. Um, we came here to play like last year wasn't so good, and we just knew that we had to defeat them this time. We uh, did really good. Um, like Adam Golombiowski and uh, Saba Asibek had a really good game. They helped Saba. We just talked about it with the guys. Uh, on a day like this, um, you just want to come out with a victory. It doesn't matter how it happens. Uh, this field was, you know, it was a tough game for both sides playing on a field like this with the weather. Uh, the grass is a little high, but we found a way, and, you know, we're just going to move on and, you know, be happy with the result that we got today. Weather conditions horrible today at High Point. Driving rainstorm the entire game. Last year, Pope John came here in the same exact conditions and lost 2 nothing. Today was different. Yeah, every like practice every day this week, Coach Cameron was telling us like, do we need to get this win? If like, because last year we were High Point's only win, so we want to come back strong and not let them have it again here. We did talk about it. Um, you know, last year our opener was against High Point. It was here. It was in the same exact conditions, and uh, we lost two nothing. We played very well. We just couldn't get one. Uh, and it was, you know, we kept, we talked about it yesterday and we talked about it today before he stepped on the field. Uh, so it, I think it was part of that, but, you know, that was last year. We want to focus on this year and, it, you know, we just wanted to get a good win and that's, and that's what we did today. The key to this game was the very first goal by Cody Kiss. In the first three minutes of the game, a long shot from outside the box, it really set the tempo. I don't think anyone was expecting it. Kind of, I just saw the goalie off his line. I just went for it, went for it. Casey passed me the ball. I just looked up and hit it. It was nice because Cody's been out for the last week. He uh, he got hit in, against Vernon, so he had to sit out a week. Um, he thinks he he tells me he was shooting it, and I'm gonna trust him on that. But uh, it it did give us a lift, and uh, it got us. You know, we talked about wanting to get get one early so we can sort of build some momentum. And I think we did that. And Cody's shot cross whatever was you know that it was able to get it done for us. It was, it was a nice nice job either you know whether it was shot or across. Now looking at this year and. Far out now. Uh, you're eight three and two. Have a terrific record uh, so far. Um, you gotta be, feel pretty good about your team. So far, so good. Yeah, we uh, we're in a stretch right now with seven games in 12 days, and we just said we can't worry about anything else but the next game. We have the first round of the Hunter Warren on Saturday. We're playing Lenape Valley, so we we've been the beneficiaries of uh, you know tournament play the last couple of years, and we just want to take it one game at a time, and that's what we're gonna do. We're just worry about Saturday and Lenape. We just need to keep it going. We need to do well in states. Last year we got the semifinals. I want to do it again. Next week is gonna be a hard week. We have um, Sparta, Mont Olive, and Montville. So um, and Saturday we have Lenape of County. It'll be difficult, but I think we could do it. I think we could pull it off. We're just going one game at a time. We're hoping to uh, win the rest of them. Go far. We're just taking it one game at a time. Though.